which the first part of the We are uh, half away from the goal. That's how I look at it. I already forgot this game today. Looking forward in three days time, Pakistan. That's how I see it. Nothing is done yet. So did everything work as for expectations? Yes, I mean, everything goes like I told you it will go. First couple of games, it's gonna be a little bit suffering until we adjust to the conditions and uh, to, to our opponents and to keep the legs running. And I told you that after second game it's going to be different, and it was. So I can I can make such statements because I have knowledge, and we delivered, as I said. Yeah. So very happy for the boys, not for myself. You know, it's just another game. And I, I felt very sorry for them not winning the first game against Lebanon because they absolutely deserved it. With the, with the numbers we had after that game, with runs, with uh, sprints, with jumps, with tackles, with uh, accuracy in passing, with created chances, overall we were far better side. But that's football, that's football. Today we worked much, much harder we pushed more and more and more and again and again and again until we opened them. And that's... Then, that, as a coach, you need to be happy. And I am very happy for, for our boys and proud of them, to be honest. All credits go to them. I'm just helping them to rise up. So... It's better you don't know what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Only second half. Opening 10 minutes maybe and we were terrible from 10th minute to 45th minute. Terrible. That was the worst 35 minutes since I'm here in India. Without control, without idea, without respecting what we were talking about, without showing freshness which we should show. And uh, it's better you don't know what I said in the dress. Coach, uh, a bit of a one-minute talk about understand your tactical changes you made. How are you going to understand my tactical changes? Uh, it will take us two hours. It will take us two hours. We don't have so much time, believe me. Believe me. It's about, you, you know, when I'm changing the players, I need to make sure that we don't lose the speed, we don't lose the height because of defending set pieces, that we don't lose the tackles, that we don't lose aggressiveness. So whoever is coming from the bench, he needs to make positive impact on the pitch. And that's how us coaches are planning the game. We are planning the game with 16 players, not with 11. It's always 16 players in the picture when we are planning the game. And you guys always asking, who is 11, who is 11? You should ask, who is 16? Uh, coach, uh, nine unbeaten matches and eight uh, clean sheets. Still you look very angry and not happy. Because I know we can do better. I, I, as a coach, I cannot uh, show satisfaction overall. I cannot. Where are we going to go that way? I am happy now, and so what? We're going to stop working and uh, uh, looking to do more and better and, and push for more, you know? I mean, Lebanon is on, already behind us. They are not even a uh, better ranked side. Sorry to say that, but we jumped over them a few days ago. So it's still a long way to go, still a long way, you know? When you go out there and, and face Australia and Uzbekistan, you really need to be ready for everything. For everything. All sort of quality in football. You know. And we're gonna get there. Give me time, I'll take you there. You don't give me time, don't expect nothing. Yes,
can't hear you very well from behind. Sorry. So uh, how are you looking forward as a team is looking forward to coming? Listen, we are, we are using each second of our time on, on certain improvements. And what we're going to do next uh, a few weeks, two weeks left or 12 days, I'm not sure anymore. I don't know even which day is today. Uh, I think five games to go, no? Still in front of us in next 12 days or 14 days. So it's going to be, it's going to be another challenge, but uh, we're going to get there to the final line. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh, but this doesn't mean anything. You know where is January next year. Who will survive until then? It doesn't mean anything, to be honest. And then King's Cup in Thailand, another excitement. OK, we're going to go there. We're going to face a few, few good sides, but without preparation. OK, we're going to try to use this, what we work here on. But are we going to have all these players which we work with then? That's the problem. We need to know also that we didn't have here, uh, I would say, minimum at least four starters in our team. Brendan, Manvir, Suresh, who is the fourth, Luca? Even more, more than that, even more than that. But are they going to be there? Are they going to be fit? Are they going to be ready? You know, you expect uh, me, and of course I don't, I don't, I accept that. You expect, expect me to provide every time the result. But every time in a big way, the team is different. Because some of the boys are injured, some of them are out of any form in the clubs because they play different position. That's not what I need in this in this national team, you know. And I need to keep being patient and waiting and and suffering through this process and just waiting. And every time I need to introduce five, six, seven new players to start working with them from the scratches, you know. And that's not easy. That's that's not the proper process. That's not the proper process. So I'm saying. The most important time for us is going to be December and preparation time before the Asia Cup. All this prior to that. Forget it. Just forget it. Yeah, any more questions? What are the biggest positives that you could draw from this tournament? The biggest positive was the hospitality we had here in Oris. The facilities we were provided the quality of the pitches, kindness of the people here, uh, closeness to our hotel, which was with the personal and the food and everything provided to us the best possible, the best possible things imaginable. And we enjoyed every second here. And I use this opportunity also to say once again, people here in Orissa, you are happy to have such a government taking so much care about sport, sport facilities, and taking care about future for your kids. It's amazing, and I'm looking forward to come back here because up to now, this was the best place we've been as a national team in regards to the facilities provided and from an organizational point of view. And thank you, Arisha Gavarvet, for providing this to, to the national team of India. Thank you. <coughs> Team is going to play some other tournaments, but what is your what is your thinking about Asian Games? Are you going to uh, give chance for uh, some, slow uh, way, slow way, slow way. some new players? No new players. I don't have time to work on same things. I worked with most of these players for four years, so no new names you will see. No, we have uh, the list of 39 or 40 players which were invited here. You know with uh, four or five of these which were uh, requested to be released, like Brenton and Sana, and then those who were injured. Uh, so listen, that's, that's the core and main part of the national team. And from these 40, 45 boys, I'm going to choose the team. And that's it. No one knew is coming here. So don't push. Don't even try. It will not work. I don't mind who will play good in next INS, ISL. That's not good enough for me. That's not what I'm looking for. We spent four years together. Now, more than four years, these boys understand 
what I expect from them when they play for the national team, and I don't care about others now. After this Asian Cup, we can look for another names to resettle things in the team, but now it's too late. It's too late. I think there are no more questions. We have come to the end of the post-match press conference. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, God bless everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much.